on behalf of mendior gk and its parent company prepq i welcome you to this this edition of current affairs and in these editions of current affairs we discuss exam oriented questions and we are specifically focusing on government exams like aao of lic or uh, let's say ibps po and clerical both ssc cgl and railway recruitment board and whichever exams that focus on current affairs we also focus on mba entrance exams like snap conducted by symbiosis Inst uh, international university tata institute of social sciences which conducts tisnet and any other mba entrance exam like cmat which will have a small component on current affairs so stay with us for 10 15 minutes every day and you will have a solid preparation on current affairs the date today is 22nd april 2019 and we discuss questions that are related with this date the first question india and france are going to hold their largest naval exercise from may 1 named as the correct answer here is varuna had to be varuna because varuna in hindu mythology is also uh, god of water some of the important maritime and naval exercises which india engages uh indra is between india and russia konkan india and united kingdom samudra shakti is the naval exercise between india and indonesia jimex between india and japan slynex between india and sri lanka malabar is a trilateral exercise between india us and japan rimpac rim of pacific maritime exercises several nations which lie on the rim of pacific ocean they take part in this particular exercise so something about navy who is the supreme commander of indian navy it for all armed forces in india the supreme commander is always the president of india the navy is headed by the chief of naval staff currently the chief of naval staff is admiral sunil lamba so we are talking of the exercise the naval exercise between india and france which is named as varuna this year it will take place off the coast uh, of the coast of goa and karwar next question who is nasa's first female astronaut candidate who died at 88 years of age recently the correct answer is jerry cob now here we have a look at jerry cob and she was the first female astronaut candidate who qualified a very tough test which is conducted for astronauts so before you can become an astronaut uh, in 1961 america conducted a very tough and strenuous physical test called mercury 13 and under mercury 13 program they selected around 11 or 12 astronaut candidates and jerry cob was one of the first women to be selected as an astronaut candidate but she unfortunately could never fly into the space because at that point america needed only 7 and she did not make the cut in the first 7 candidates so she served as a humanitarian aid pilot in amazon jungles so basically amazon rainforest very difficult terrain to pilot planes and she served there as a humanitarian aid pilot but who was the first woman in space so she was valentina tereshkova from russia she flew on vostok 6 in 1963 incidentally the first indian woman in space was kalpana chawla who flew in 1997 on columbia on the vehicle columbia next who is appointed as the next ambassador of india to republic of lebanon the correct answer is dr suhail ajaz now dr suhail ajaz is actually a medical doctor and he has a connection with mp he uh, did his medicine course from mgm medical college in indore and he succeeds sanjeev arora who is currently serving as the ambassador to lebanon dr suhail ajaz is a 1997 batch ifs officer indian foreign service officer and something about lebanon you see this is india and to the left of india you can find here lebanon very small country 
has a big coastal area it is bordering syria israel israel and jordan i think so very near to a big troubled area lebanon lies in the capital of lebanon is beirut the president currently is michel aoun the pm is saad hariri the currency of lebanon is lebanese pound one famous character from lebanon which i can recall is khalil gibran a very famous author poet somebody who wrote the very famous book called the prophet so that is about lebanon next who is appointed high commissioner to south africa the correct answer is jaydeep sarkar he is a 1987 batch ifs officer so currently is serving in bhutan as ambassador to bhutan and south africa capital is cape town pretoria and bloom fountain it should be bloom fountain actually cape town is the legislative capital pretoria is the executive capital and bloom fountain is the judicial capital of south africa so president of south africa currently is cyril ramaphosa the currency that is in circulation in south africa is south african rand next question who becomes the first indian woman to be selected to be elected to the royal society fellow the correct answer is professor gagandeep kang professor kang is the first indian female to be elected to the royal society to be elected as royal society fellow in the 358 year history of this fellowship and she is currently the executive director at transnational health science and technology institute at faridaba so she has worked on transmission development and prevention of enteric infections she also has built the national rota virus and typhoid surveillance networks next question which company has set to close down its online retail operations in china the correct answer is amazon so obviously amazon has been facing a very stiff competition from the local chinese company called alibaba.com and this closure of operation is basically an admission of defeat on part of amazon uh, and its inability to compete with alibaba in china next question who among the following astronauts is going to set a new record for longest single space flight by a woman spending 328 days in space the correct answer is christina koch so she will her stay has been extended to 328 days now prior to this the record was set by peggy witson of 288 days incidentally the longest that a human has ever stayed in space is 340 days and this record is with scott kelly next question what was india's rank in world press freedom index 2019 the correct answer is 148 now who comes out with this world press freedom index it is a non profit and a non government organization by the name of reporters without borders and in french it, it was earlier also known as reporters sans frontiers this organization is headquartered in paris and the movement was initiated in 1985 because reporters working all over the globe have been facing a lot of issues lot of violence against them especially when they have reported against the establishment against corrupt people against mafias and so on and now even against terrorists so the organization was started by robert minard remy luri jack molenart emilie jubinu so these are four people behind the movement pardon me for my french pronunciation uh, you know it may not be accurate so if you are very uh, fixated with correct french pronunciation probably you will have to go online to look for the pronunciation india's rank has effectively dropped down from 138 to 140th obviously election year and many people will be worried about the press coverage that they have been given and hence the violence in election years or a year prior to the election years against um reporters will always tend to rise the striking feature about this year's report in india was violence against reporters by police by maoists 
and by politicians as expected. So the toppers in the World Freedom Ex uh, Index, Norway at rank 1, Finland at rank 2 and Sweden at rank 3 are the top 3 countries and the bottom 2 countries are Vietnam at 176th position and China at 176th, 7th position of the index. Next question. Who among the following leaders have overseen a new guided weapons test? The correct answer is King, Kim Jong-un who is the supreme leader of North Korea. So he was also in news recently because of the second US-North Korean summit which took place in Hanoi in Vietnam. The first US-North Korea summit took place in Singapore in 2018. This summit is to clear the differences between North and South Korea and to denuclearize North Korea that means to persuade North Korea to give up on its nuclear program. And you can see here you have India on the map and here you have North Korea to the right. North Korea and South Korea is divided by this line. So the Supreme Commander of North Korea is King Jong, Kim Jong-un. The capital is Pyongyang and that is why many a times North Korea is referred to by the name Pyongyang. And the currency of North Korea is Korean People's Won. Next question. Who is the head of the committee who proposed the concept of regulatory sandbox? The correct answer is Sudarshan Sen. Now you need to understand this term regulatory sandbox. Now this term proposed by RBI or this scheme or this mechanism proposed by RBI is basically for fintech companies. Fintech companies means companies which operate in the domain of technology for finance. So what happens is when fintech companies come up with a new product, a new digital product, before introducing the product to a whole set of customers, to the entire set of customers, a regulatory sandbox allows them to roll out a limited version of the product to a limited set of people. So if there are any problems, if there are any issues with the product, they can be evened out, one. And if regulatory framework needs a, uh, a modification, probably the regulatory sandbox will also allow that to take place. So it basically fosters technology and reduces the cost of introducing a particular product. So we reach the question for the day. The first question, who is the first Indian woman to be elected to the Royal Society Fellow? Next question. What is the meaning of the word regulatory sandbox? You've got to answer both these questions in the comment section given below. If you're following our sessions and liking them, please do not forget to share these sessions with your WhatsApp group and with your study groups. Also do not forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Also click on the bell icon which you can see there and so that you can get notifications on time. If you're a CAD aspirant, you can go to myprepq.com for three comprehensive courses for CAD preparation, CAD comprehensive online, prep QA comprehensive and prep DILR comprehensive online. All of them are purely online courses which you can study at your whim. If you're looking for free resources, Mend Your Math, Mend Your Reasoning and Mend Your GK are three websites where you can look at. For career guidance, you can WhatsApp me on this number 982606215. That is all for today. Thank you very much.